we doing guys? Welcome to uh, the first sort of pick up video or look at video um, that I've made for a long long time. Yeah I've not really been buying much stuff off late although that's all kind of changed in the last couple of weeks. Um, as I mentioned in my Friday waffle I've been selling a lot of kind of bits and bobs, basically sort of duplicate stuff. Stuff that I never ever use and sort of uh, extra kind of bits of hardware that I've been uh, that I've kind of gathered. And uh, so yeah the selling stuff I've been putting the money towards buying stuff. So yeah, now this one arrived today and I'm uh, rather excited about it. I've not actually opened it up yet. Um, so I figured, I'd, I mean I'm not really one for doing unboxings as such, but I just think this is pretty damn cool. So anyway, without much further ado, this is what I bought. Now I got this from the Retro uh, For Sale page, which is a, a YouTube, not a YouTube, it's a... What is it? It's a Facebook page, um, and it's a, yeah, it's quite a good page for actually kind of buying and selling stuff. So, so I'm just I'm looking at something here. Right, anyway, yep, this is the bad boy. Um, now I've recently sold my Sega Saturn. I sold that at the weekend actually to one of my mates, um, and you'll be thinking, why are you selling your Sega Saturn? Well, it's to get this bad boy. Now this, I'm going to kind of get in front of the camera here, if I can, this is a Japanese Sega Saturn. Now, it's, I bought it for two reasons. One, it's modded, which means I can play backups. <laughs> yep, I can play backups and I can also uh, play games, sort of multi-region as well. So yeah, let's have a wee look at this. It's quite a, quite a nice box. It just looks, it just reeks of kind of... I don't know, classic console, Sega Saturn. And I've got to say, this is the first ever Japanese console I've ever owned in my life. Um, instructions, yep, don't understand any of it. There's a 12 there, there's an HST0014. Apart from that, this product is intended for use in Japan only. Blah, 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 because of differences in power supply, do not use this product in any other country. Sega does not authorise the export used for profit rental or leasing of this product. Okay, yep, heard it all. Um, and on this other side, what have we got? We've got a, a rather natty picture of the Sega Saturn. The next generation of home entertainment is right here in this machine. The Sega Saturn, all one word notice, welcomes you to the next level. So, now to be honest, I didn't even expect it. I didn't realise it was going to be boxed, which is, a, I'm not a, a big fan of like, you know, buying stuff for the sake of being boxed, but it's a nice wee extra when it is boxed, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, let's, let's have a look, what I'm intending to do is set it up and show it working. Now there's, uh, obviously there's multiple uh, instructions which are all going to be in Japanese I'm guessing, so yeah. I'm not even going to attempt to, to look at these because it's pointless, I don't speak Japanese. Okay, right, what we've got here, we've got one white controller. That's an official Sega one. We've got the, whatever you call it, I can never, you know what, I can never remember what these things are called. Is it a composite or something? I don't know, but what I do have somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I've got one of these, but that's only got the two bits on it. I think I've got one with three in it, have I? I'm sure I have. If not, I'm sure I can find one up uh, somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to find one somewhere. So yeah, what's inside here? It's obviously been pretty well looked after. And here's the bad boy itself now. Anybody that's got a PAL machine will know that PAL machines were black. This one is white. It looks pretty much identical to the PAL version, I'm guessing. Yep, it's got that communication. What is that? Communication connector? No idea what that is. That's the AV out and it's got the power. Now, hang on a second, I've just noticed. There is no... where's the power cable for it? Hmm, how does that work? That 
that's strange, I'll need to uh, double check, yeah, should there be a power cable? I'm guessing there should be. Although I do notice it's just a normal, uh, it's just a normal one of these, so, I mm, don't know, right, before you start screaming at the camera saying you're going to blow the thing up, don't panic Mr. Mannering. Right, let's put all these instructions away. That can go in there. So, apologies about doing this off camera. Right, and let's get this box put to one side. Okay, and put back in this thing. You just talk amongst yourselves, guys, while I struggle with this. Yeah, okay, so you're, you're screaming at me saying you're going to blow the thing up if you use it, if you plug it in. Well, you're absolutely right, but what also came with it is this thing, an adapter for SAT, SAT, SAT turn compatible. And also there's a picture of PlayStation, so let's have a look. I've never had to use one of these things in my puff before, so I'm interested to see. Ah, here we go. Right, I shouldn't be worrying because there's the... Ah, right, very good. Right, so wait a minute, how does this work? Is that the same as a normal plug, is it? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. So this is, what is this called? Transform 220 volts step down. Um, Sega Saturn PlayStation. Right, good stuff. So, yep, got that thing. That's the box adapter. And also, to allow me to play multiple games or multiple regions, I've also got one of these things, Action Replay Plus. Now, apparently you need to have this thing plugged in to play Japanese games. Okay, there's a the cartridge there. Don't know what's in the top there, no idea what that is. And lastly, what else did I get? Well, there's two more things to come. If I can find it, it's right behind me. Actually, three more things to come. That, there's another thing about, come on, where are you? Where have you gone, you sod? Ah, there it's there. Third last thing is, I've got an extra controller. Again, official Sega Saturn. I've got a big wodge of discs. Look, and look, what can you see what that one is? Yes, Radiant Silver Gun. Back up. Um, yeah, if you wanted to play that on a Saturn, it would cost you the basic part of about 100 quid. And very lastly, I've also got Sega Saturn Fighting Vipers. I don't know if that's PAL or what, what it is. So anyway, let's uh, get it all connected up and I shall be back in two things. Okay, no, you've not tuned in to the incorrect channel. This is a uh, Radiant Silver Gun. Right, enough of this malarkey. After a, a minute or two trying to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, let's see if we've got there. I've never ever played this game. Now, I know it goes for silly money. Now, I don't know whether it's because it's just stupidly rare, or B, it's an exceptional game, or probably a bit of both, hopefully. But as well, now, you do get some games that sell for daft money and they're absolutely pish. Now, the success of this game was a Arakuda. Now, does this game have the different colours? I'm not quite sure, actually. The one thing that people maybe don't understand about games like this is they maybe complete it and say, well, that's the end of that. But it's not so much about completing the game, it's all about 
the sort of the score you get is just chaining the, the sort of uh, the kind of the points together, the number of kills together. Continue. Certainly don't want to continue. I want to just no save. Right, let's put it back in again. Strange lacky music. You think there'd be some music on the title screen? A mighty treasure. I'm not going to move that. Up a wee bit like so. And it's still still nice and squint. Japanese with their, with their cartoons. They're just batshit mental half the time. But they certainly know how to make a good video game. Right, so that does that. That does that. Ah, so that's a kind of bone in the then. Button C does that. Now the obvious thing would be, well, why don't I just use this? Because they're effectively homing in, so... So I'm guessing I want to be using that thing. Bloody hell. Now, I consider myself not too bad at uh, shoot 'em ups, especially bullet hell ones. And this is just kicking my ass big style. Let's go for one more go. Do you know what score I got? Right, here we go again. I've got to say I'm delighted to do that. Let's take a start. Although I can play uh, backups on it, I think I might actually start picking up some games for it, especially the fact I can play Japanese imports as well. So. Just try not to die within the first 10 seconds. <laughs> I made that 11 seconds. Does anyone care? Ah! Now, what I completely forgot. That something I bought on Saturday or last weekend, no, right, it was Saturday past, was the arcade stick. So I need to dig that out. This time. Have it. Thirty percent. I'm guessing that's not very good. Ah, oh, 
that's, that's crashed and that thing. Anyway guys, listen, that's Radiant Silver Gun. Let's have a look at something else. Okay, this is Sexy Parodius. A game I've never played, but I've heard all about. Apparently it's just a Kenny shooter game, but with some silly Kenny graphics. I think it's Kenny Nemesis, basically. That's a sweet corn talking to a pea, or is that a chicken? Corn TV. <laughs> I'm shooting goats and sheep, no less, and these are squirrels. Bollocks. Holy moly, what's going on here? Suffice to say, this is just crazy, but you know what, it's actually pretty good fun. And there's some nice little puppy dogs to kill. What the hell's going on here? Why can't I fire? Kill the ducks. <laughs> that was silly. Let's continue. Oh, I can't crash any here. What the hell is that doing? Is that a goodie? I think it is. That's <laughs> just a bizarre game. I think it's actually a really good shooter. Oh, it's Killer Corn! And he's throwing it popcorn. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Wait, let's have a look at another couple of games. Okay, this is a uh, Tempest 2000. Now I've played it on the, in fact, I won it on the uh, the Jaguar. But I've never actually tried it on the the Saturn, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. Very, very similar to the Jaguar one.
Jeff Minter had any uh, sort of involvement in this uh, conversion. He was the guy that obviously put together the, uh, the Jagger one. That's uh, Tempest 2000 now, it's just uh, crossed my mind, I'm actually playing that on the original mode so that's why there's probably no fancy kind of power ups. So anyway, back in a tick. Right, this game is a game I uh, I was playing in Arcade, uh, not Arcade Perfect, and that was the year that was, earlier this week, um, Batsugan. Now it's a game that I couldn't emulate properly in MAME, so I'm quite looking forward to uh, seeing how it works on the, the Sega Saturn. Hmm, strange, there's no sound there. Place one player, two player, start button. No, I'm doing that. Ah, there we go, you need to actually press it properly. Oh, yeah, I know I'm kind of cutting off a bit of the screen. That's a bit better. And this is where you get the kind of graphical kind of glitch in the, in the, the main one. Yeah, which you didn't get there. Very nice. I'm liking that a lot. The Saturn, it was always kind of criticised for not being as good as the PlayStation when it came to uh, three-dimensional games. But where it did excel, although nobody wanted to play games like that, was uh, it had a far better processor for two-dimensional games. Now back in 1995, nobody was interested in playing 2D games, however, 20 odd years on, people like myself would much rather play games like this than play crusty old 3D games on the PlayStation which simply haven't aged that well at all. I think this is a damn sight harder than the, the main version. What? <laughs> I thought I'd go to the end of the level garden in there. Let's go back in. The one thing I'll never do in these kind of games is do a continue because the whole point of these games isn't to get to the end, it's about maximising score and it's a challenge. And to just uh, continue and get to the end just spoils it for me completely. Well I've got to say I'm absolutely delighted with, with my purchase. It cost me a fair bit, I don't mind admitting that. I mean it was 150 quid, that was including delivery so you know, um, it was probably 140 quid, 135 quid without delivery. But uh, 
I'm happy with that. I mean, uh, you, you probably can pick them up a bit cheaper, but you know, this comes with a cartridge. It also comes with a, a game. Plus, the guy was kind enough to do me some uh, backups as well. So, plus, it's got a mod chip in it as well. So, hence the reason I'm able to play uh, backups. Bloody hell, this is tough as old boots. I'm well impressed with this. I must admit, getting the uh, the step down thing is actually pretty good because it means technically I could probably try and pick up a Japanese uh, PlayStation. Bloody hell! <laughs> right, anyway, listen, guys, that's it. That's full enough. Uh, that's enough games for one evening. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to getting stuck into this Saturday and a bit more anyway. So um, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>